Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to plant some Amur maple seeds that I just collected from one of my trees. If you have Amur maples in your yard or a friend, go collect them now. It's early spring and the seeds have not dropped yet, so they're going to be ready to do that pretty soon. So Amur maple seeds drop in the spring. They've wintered all along and they've been through their stratification period, which is a period that they need. I went and collected a few hundred seeds, way more than I need, and I'm going to put them in this propagation tray and see if we can get them to grow. Stay tuned. We'll do that right now. So what I'm going to use for this propagation tray is just standard potting mix. Nothing special. I found that using a dustpan helps to load the cells a lot faster than any other way that I've done them. So this has been a really great help and it benefits in time. Try to get them and then I've got a drop tray underneath to help too. Once I have it loaded I'm going to simply try to tap it down a little bit with another tray. Make sure that it makes a little impression and helps me to get that it helps to get the seed in there. Now some people will say that you should soak the seeds. I just didn't. I'm going to go ahead and just place a couple in each tray in each cell. And hopefully we get some of them to, to take root. So now last fall I actually collected a bunch of sugar maple seeds off of my mature tree and I let them sit outside all winter so we'll see how they did. We didn't have a lot of snow cover but over the last two weeks we just had a major blizzard and the snow is still on the ground in some spots and then we do have we are just entering April and we have rain in the forecast which is really perfect for any kind of seed trying to germinate and gets plenty of moisture. Some people will also tell you to cut these tails off but I'm just really not going to be, I don't want to be that picky about it. I don't want to make more work out of it. I like to do things as simply as possible. So we're going to give this a go and I think I will for to run a test do just a basic tray with some mix in it and just kind of sprinkle the rest of these seeds on there and then I'll bury them and we'll see what our germination rate is. I'm inside of a greenhouse right now. This is an unheated greenhouse. Sun heats it up during the day and it gets pretty cold at night. We're still getting in the 20s at night so it's not good to have anything out here that needs to have that that heat so no warm weather crops can be put out here yet. I'm probably going to start thinking about putting my cool weather crops out here and starting some seeds there too. So I had some comments about people that were in zone four as well. I'm about by Minneapolis. Um, there's not a lot of garden channels right now in zone four. Zone four is pretty cold. The thing about zone four for anybody that doesn't know is we have a very short growing season. So we have to really make best use out of every day we have so what I'm going to do is I'm going to water this from below. Just lift the corner up and just fill this tray with water. And let this medium hydrate a little bit more. It's pretty dry. I'm still in the middle of unpacking all my winter stuff and I think I'm going to go find a sprayer and put some water in it and then do a mist down from the top too. just want to really give this a good drink to let it to let it get started. I'm going to move this tray up onto the window ledge and then we'll start another tray of uh, just plain compost and we'll put the, we'll sprinkle the seeds on top of the dome and see how that works. There are many chores when you garden but planting is one of my favorite ones. I really like planting time. So I'm going to put these, this tray does not have holes in it and that's okay because I'm not going to 
I'm not going to overwater them. I'm just going to put a top on and let it become a mini greenhouse. Let's see if we can get them to sprout. I guess it's going to take four to six weeks before we see anything. It may take longer. Some of these seeds take over a year, but for right now I just wanted to give this one a try. So for this next batch, I'm just going to lay all of these seeds on top. And then I'll get a mister. I'll go get my misting bottle and I will mist the top. Actually, it's pretty damp already. This is pretty damp. Well, I'll just leave it be. I'm going to just layer it in really thick, which is probably too thick for this, but that's okay. I just want to give it a go. I can always pick more seeds. <laughs> I've got thousands of them. So for me, this is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and put another layer on top. Good to use up this compost. This is repurposed compost. I think I had planted tulip bulbs or something in it. And I dug it up in the fall when I pulled my tulip bulbs for other projects. And uh, I'm just reusing it. I'm just going to level that out. And the one thing that you always want to do is you want to make sure you put tags on things. I've got my tag here. I've got my date. I'm going to put April 1st. It is actually the 31st of March, but I'm going to put April 1st on it. So you need it, but I don't think it'll work. So there we have it. Pretty simple. Went to collect some seeds. If you have other trees in your yard with seeds on them right now in the spring, go ahead and grab some of them and see if you can get them to propagate. If you like propagation videos, check this playlist next. Also consider subscribing so you don't miss any of our other great videos. Again, I'm in Zone 4 near Minneapolis. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.